In contrary to many other tuners and coach builders, such as Styling Garage being the most notoriously known for it, Garrett by the Châtelet modified Mercedes-Benz's were actually allowed to keep their star, known as their logos on the grills, which companies as Styling Garage couldn't. This was because Du Châtelet had a good relationship with Mercedes-Benz and they approved all of Du Châtelet's conversions, including the stretch limousines. In this video we will talk about the notorious Mercedes-Benz S-Class conversions done by Carrot Du Châtelet. Before we start off, don't forget to like and subscribe for more and also check out this playlist with many interesting videos covering various unique cars with unique stories. Welcome to this brand new video about the finest 1980s tuners of Mercedes-Benz vehicles, specifically the S-Class, which also was called the 1000 SEL because it was twice as good as a normal S-Class. In this video we'll be covering Carrot by Du Châtelet. Because of the total length of the video, this video will be divided into two parts. Part 1 will be covering the preview that was uploaded on my channel last week. This video is all about the Carrot Cullinan by Du Châtelet, which is actually right in the middle regarding the luxury of the total luxury model range of Carrot by Du Châtelet. Part 2 will be covering the other Carrot by Du Châtelet models offered of the S-Class and the history of those models. This video will be posted as soon as possible. The Carrot by Du Châtelet Cullinan was one of the most popular models made by Carrot by Du Châtelet with one of the first production models dating back to all the way to 1980, one year after the introduction of the W124S class, being based on the at that moment top of the line 500 SEL. The Carrot Cullinan was a middle luxury model by Carrot by Du Châtelet, being mostly based on the 500 SEL and later top of the line 560 SEL and mostly made up to 1987 or 1988. Besides the sedan version, Carrot by Du Châtelet also made conversions based on the SEC, such as the 560 SEC but also the 500 SEC in earlier stages. The SEC conversions date up to around 1989 and made around 200 units of these, making these very scarce. Carrot by Du Châtelet offered the modifications for the Mercedes-Benz W126 S-Class in different stages and each stage was given a classy name. To start off you had the Carrot Clarity, which was considered as the base model of Carrot by Du Châtelet. Followed up by the Carrot Cullinan, the model we will talk about in this video. It was considered the middle model, which also had a lot of luxury options available. Besides the Carrot Cullinan, the model which is the most comparable to the Carrot Cullinan would be the Carrot D Aero. The following up model, or also known as the most expensive and exclusive model, would be the Carrot Diamond. And one of the most unknown models would be the Carrot Ex Executive which we will all be covering in the next part. The various models and conversions were mostly done, as said earlier, on the top spec 500 SEL and later, after the facelift in 1985 or 1986, on the 560 SEL. The specifications for the Carrot Cullinan were as followed. First and foremost, all of the exterior parts of the Carrot Cullinan, including bumpers, side skirts and the wing mirrors, were sprayed using the Japan technique, which was a very exclusive finish and involved 48 layers of paint, 30 of which were clear varnish. The exact way of application was kept secret, and even journalists visiting the Du Châtelet factory weren't even allowed to have a look inside of the spray booth. The Carrot Cullinan could be fitted with new Du Châtelet designed bumpers and side skirts as well. The Carrot Cullinan could be fitted with new rims, which usually were the Sentra Type 31 wheels. However, these could also be the very rare 15-inch alloy wheels 
that the carrot cullinan in this video has. Besides the rims, the carrot cullinan also could be equipped with an electronically operated sunroof above the front seats with the special air rim in the roof which reduced the wind noise. The most important modifications on the most carried by the Chatelet cars are however to be found on the inside and there were plenty. The finest leather everywhere, 15 hides were used to cover it over the complete interior including the roof liner, steering wheel, seats, all pillars, dashboard and even the center console. The seats were completely redesigned for better back support. Easy to spot are the new headrests which are larger than the standard size Mercedes-Benz items and make it easy for anyone to recognize a carried by the Chatelet car. Except for leather, the Chatelet also added a lot of very high quality walnut veneer wood. And besides the wood, unique and expensive lamps wool carpets were placed to cover the floor of the car. A small center console was also added to function as an armrest with storage space and the dashboard was modified by the Chatelet to accommodate a small storage compartment for a car phone or other personal items. An optional TV could be placed filling the glove compartment. The obvious high-end stereo system could of course be ordered from the Chatelet as well, giving the car a lot of options technology-wise to choose from. Needless to say, the carrot by the Chatelet Carrot Cullinan conversion was rather pricey. A 1985 price list showed that there was a standard carrot Cullinan and a luxury carrot Cullinan, of which the standard carrot Cullinan had a 70,000 Deutsche Mark price tag from the German price list. And the luxury version had a price tag of 100,000 Deutsche Marke. But prices could rise considerably when you went to the option list. 9,000 Deutsche Marke for an in dash color TV, which this car has. A video system placed underneath the rear seats, which cost 10,500 Deutsche Marke. And the Cartier clock for 1,300 Deutsche Marke. The list of options was rather endless. So it could be no problem to convert your 500 SEL or 560 SEL for another 200,000 Deutsche Marke. There were thousands of possibilities to choose from and the prices were all without the base vehicle. The video uploaded last week was the 1987 560 SEL carried by the Chatelet Cullinan. I tried to look for as many options as the car was fitted with and some of the options of this car I have written down on this list. As mentioned early, this car has the rare carat du Chatelet 15 inch alloy mules, made by Ronald in West Germany. The television screen, which was optional since 1986 and which was made by JVC had a price tag of 9000 Deutsche Marke in 1985 and also was fitted in this car. The steering wheel was also optional and had the same color as the interior but instead of the normal steering wheel without an airbag this was the updated steering wheel with an airbag. This car also features leather cushions made for the rear seats with the same styling as the other leather parts of the interior and also being branded as carried by Du Chatelet. The center console also was made out of the same leather and the seats and the door panels are made out of. Also the car consists of an integrated telephone positioned in the armrest of the back seats. Privacy wise this car also has an option because there are optional curtains in the rear for extra privacy. As mentioned earlier as the optional sunroof, this car also featured a sunroof on the front side of the roof. However, this sunroof also could have been possible on the rear side of the car and also with extra comfort. So there's a small instrument that would lower the amount of sound coming from the wind gliding over the open sunroof. As mentioned earlier, the floor mats are also optional and are made out of both lambskin and sheepskin. And the most expensive option 
The 10,500 Deutsche Mark video system is also optioned in this car and is placed underneath the middle seat which has a VHS tape deck. These were all the options that I could see in the videos, however the car probably has a lot of more options. Altogether, this car was a very well optioned car, having almost every possible option Karen by the Chatelet had to offer. But cars also could be optioned without any option and were actually able to be delivered quite basic. Quite basic still meaning more luxurious than a normal 560 SEL, but for carried by the Chatelet terms, quite bare to the bone. Because it was also a post-phase lift variant, the now most powerful engine was the 5.6 liter V8, calling it the 560 SEL instead of the 5 liter V8, which was the 500 SEL, giving the car 272 horsepower, a 0 to 100 time of a smooth 7.1 seconds, and a top speed of 240 km an hour. The predecessor of the top of the line luxury vehicle of Mercedes Benz was the 500 SEL. And that had a 5 liter V8 with 228 horsepower, a 0 to 100 time of 8.1 seconds, and a top speed of 225 km an hour. During the facelift, to which also the 560 SEL was included, the 500 SEL was also facelifted, which increased in power up to 265 horsepower without the catalytic converter, a 0 to 100 time of 7.2 seconds and a top speed of 235 km an hour, all by the same 5 liter V8. There was also a 300 horsepower 560 SEL engine available, however these engines were even rarer than a normal 5.6 liter V8 engine, because these engines were called the 560 SEL ECE models, which had some other sensors and produced 28 horsepower more from the 5.6 liter V8 which actually gave the car 300 horsepower instead of the 272 horsepower and gave the car a 0 to 100 time of 6.8 seconds and a top speed of 250 km an hour. Besides the Carrot by Duchatelet Cullingen, Carrot by Duchatelet also made conversions to vehicles with extended wheelbases, which can be seen in these pictures. These cars had the same unique qualities Carrot by Duchatelet had to offer but had extended wheelbases improving the passenger's comfort of the vehicles. These wheelbases were extended by 20 up to 25 cm giving the SELs a length of 5.36 up to 5.41 meters, as the normal SEL already was longer than the normal SE and already was 5.16 meters in length, which was already plenty of space as you can see in these pictures and videos. This was all the information I could find in the archives on the internet. And this was all for today about the Carrot by the Chatelet Cullingen. In the next part, I'll talk about the other models delivered by Carrot by the Chatelet and, and uncover many unique and interesting facts about this top of the line Mercedes Benz Tudor. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more, and also check out this playlist with interesting videos covering unique cars and their unique stories.